Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this week's video which is going to be all about the books that have changed my life and that have really impacted me positively on my journey to become a successful entrepreneur alhamdulillah the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because last week i posted a video about how i challenged myself and my business coach is also challenging me to generate a hundred thousand pounds in the next few months inshallah to buy a house for my mom and i asked you guys if you wanted to join me on this journey of creating something for yourself whether it's a business or reaching a goal or achieving something that you've been dreaming about for a while and I also ask you what do you need from me like what do you want me to tell you about when it comes to creating a successful business and a lot of you said that you didn't know where to start and so I started brainstorming and thinking what would be the most useful information that I could share for you so that you can start this journey and I think the first step is really to focus on your mindset because I can share marketing strategy with you I can talk about business for hours but if you don't have the mindset of a successful entrepreneur, all of that is gonna be useless. And to be honest, there are several ways of working on your mindset. One of them being just self-reflections, being aware of your weaknesses, of your strength, of how your environment is working for you or against you. Just like taking time to journal, to question your beliefs, questions your thoughts and things like that. The second thing would be potentially getting support from a mentor, a therapist, a coach, which is what I do with my clients. I help them in their growth, whether it's personal or professional. And this is also what I benefited from at a very early stage in my entrepreneurial journey, alhamdulillah. And I would argue that seeking external help is probably the most efficient way to grow because having someone question you and your beliefs allows you to see your blind spots. So having a mentor or a coach is amazing when it comes to seeing things that you're not able to see on your own. So I would highly recommend you do that as well. But the third thing to work on your mindset, which is the most affordable, is reading. I remember when I was broke and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life, I invested 99 cents in the PDF of Tony Robbins' book, Awaken the Giant Within. And this is where my healing journey started and my journey to creating my business. And subhanAllah, it's so strange to think about that because just that small action changed my life and so the books that I want to share with you today are going to be books that inshallah will create that within you as well this hunger for success before I start on the list itself, I just wanted to let you know that Hajj in Umrah Express has invited me to take a group of sisters to Umrah in January from the 17th until the 27th. Half of the spots are already booked, alhamdulillah. So if you want to join us, just check the information in the description box below and don't wait too long because we're closing registrations very soon, inshallah. Now, let's get onto the list of books which I have divided in four categories. Spirituality, mindset, business, and coaching skills. Because I thought about people who follow me because they want to become coaches. So at the end of this list, I will mention two books that have been incredible in my coaching journey, alhamdulillah. Any book that I mention and even more books will be all available in a free list that my team has helped me create for you. You can find that in the description box below. The first book on the spiritual list is the Dalai al-Khairat by Imam al-Jazuli. This beautiful book is a compilation of prayer upon the Prophet, peace be upon him. The legend says that one morning as Imam al-Jazuli was looking for water to perform his wudu, he couldn't find any and he was desperately looking. And he came across a young woman who helped him by doing a strange thing. She basically spat in a well and the water that was at the bottom of the well came up and overflowed and enough came out for him to make his wudu. And so Imam al-Jazuli came to her and he asked her, how did you perform this miracle? And she looked at him surprised as if the answer to that question was obvious and she told him by making constant prayer for God to bless the best of creation by the number of breath and heartbeats. What a beautiful answer. After hearing that, Imam al-Jazuli was inspired to write his own compilation of prayers upon the Prophet wasallam, and he compiled them in a way that's divided by the number of days in the week so you can read a portion each day and those prayers are beautiful they're so beautiful i can't even describe them and you might be thinking why would i mention a compilation of salawat for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a list of books about success as a muslim entrepreneur as muslims we recognize that anything good that was revealed to us was revealed to us through the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from allah subhanahu wa 
Ta'ala. So we owe our Prophet, peace be upon him, a lot. When we start something in this life, keeping the Prophet وسلم, in mind when it comes to following his Sunnah is going to be a source of incredible goodness. In fact, I came to know about this book when I was particularly struggling in my life and I went to one of my teachers and I asked her for advice and she told me about it and she promised me that if I read it, it would bring openings to me and subhanAllah, she was absolutely right. So that's why I recommend you to remember that on your journey to become an entrepreneur, you should never forget that your role model in this life is the Prophet, peace be upon him. And the best way to remain close to his character is to learn about him and is to learn to love him. And this is the type of book that will do that for you. It will teach you about love. This is a declaration of love for the Prophet وسلم, and it's definitely a must read for any Muslim. Book number two in the category of spirituality is none other than Letter to a Disciple by Imam Al-Ghazali. This book is incredible as well, subhanAllah. But this one is different because it's more about the basics that any Muslim should know in terms of ethics, in terms of gratitude, in terms of practice. And it's filled with so many gems. Just imagine having a wise mentor whispering profound insights into your ear. This is exactly what this book will do. Here's an example of what's mentioned here. The messenger of God, God bless him and give him peace, said, the astute man is one who passes judgment on himself and works for what is after death and the fool is one who pursues vain pleasures and counts on God the exalted to realize his wishes. You get lessons on taking action, letting go of outcomes to surrender to Allah's decree and things of that sort. So it's a book that will push you to think like a good entrepreneur, basically. Moving on to the category about mindset, the first book that I would recommend you is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This book is not just about money mindset, it's about believing in yourself, it's about believing that anything is possible. What I love about Napoleon Hill is that he mentions a lot of stories of people who had absolutely nothing to be successful initially, but they became extremely successful in this life. This is a must read for anyone who wants to start a business. The other good thing about it is that Napoleon Hill will actually give you actionable tips. So he's gonna give you prompts, he's gonna give you things to say, affirmations to say, things to do, habits to pick up. And these habits will make you a successful entrepreneur, inshallah. Book number two in the mindset category is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. And even if this is a fiction book, if you read it with the intention of changing changing yourself for the better, you will really get a lot from it. It's the story of Santiago, who's a shepherd in Spain, and he decides to go on an adventure following his desire to fulfill his purpose in life. In that journey, a lot of things happen to Santiago that teach you a lot of lessons yourself as the reader of the story. Things about patience, things about trusting the plan that God has written for you. I've read it 10 years ago for the first time. I've read it 15 years ago for the first time. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm old. And I read it again this year and I read it often and every time, subhanAllah, Allah sends me signs through this book. I read what I need to hear whenever I pick it up. And as an entrepreneur, there are lessons in here that you will need to embrace yourself. So I highly recommend you make that a book that follows you in your life, inshallah. Now, when it comes to business, I highly recommend that you get the books by Alex Hormozzi. This one is 100 million offers. He also has another one, which is the part two, which is called 100 million sales. This is the book that I'm gonna be using to reach my goal of making 100K this year, inshallah. The good thing about it is that Alex does not waste time in like fluffy theory about marketing and strategy. He goes straight to the point and I love that about him. He will give concrete examples of how he applies his tools and techniques. He'll tell you how to do it exactly. He'll provide you with free resources as well on his website, which is awesome. This is a gold mine for any business owner. So I highly recommend you check it out. Now, the other book that I have for business, Traction by Gino Wickman. So Traction is amazing, whether you're starting off or you already have a team in terms of setting 
processes in place. This book was recommended to me by my business coach, Asiya. What Gino Wickman does in this book is tell you exactly which processes to set in your company. And I wish I had this three years ago when I first started. Your company is gonna work fine without processes for a certain time, but as soon as you start getting bigger, you're gonna wish that you implemented processes from the beginning because processes are necessary for a company to grow and evolve in a smooth way. So check out Traction if you want to know how to implement systems in your business, inshallah. Now, moving on to books about coaching skills, the two books that have changed my life were The Prosperous Coach by Rich Litvin and Steve Chandler. Very easy to read. I remember I finished it in a weekend, but it taught me so much about how to coach like a transformational coach, like a master coach. It was very informative as well when it came to how to get clients. Any book by Steve Chandler in general, I would recommend for coaches. The second book that I've loved was The Heart of Laser Focus Coaching by Marion Franklin. That book taught me everything that I needed to know about how to coach powerfully. And it's also a book that I recommend to my trainee coaches now. Marion Franklin will really go deep into what you need to do in a coaching session in order to create transformation. So I highly recommend that one as well. Now I've gathered all of these books and even more books that have changed my life and that have made me a better entrepreneur in a free list that you can grab in the description box below, inshallah. I'd love to hear from you. What are the books that have changed your life? What the books that you always recommend to people whether it's about business or not do leave a comment and let me know i'm constantly buying new books i think we never own enough books honestly so i'll be happy to get the ones that you recommend me if you are on this journey of becoming a coach and you want some support i'm opening a few slots for my one-on-one -on -one business mentoring inshallah have a look at the information in the description box below and get in touch with me if you want me to support you into creating a successful business inshallah don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and share it with anyone that you think will benefit from it. I will see you in the next one, inshallah. May Allah bless you with immense success in this life and in the next. Ma'asalama.